Okie dokie. In this problem, they ask which answer choice is the correct indefinite integral for the following function. So we want to sort of apply what we talked about in 351c. So if you have not watched that yet, feel free to check it out. In this one, we want to identify a u. We are going to use a method known as u substitution. So the u will simply always come from what's inside the parentheses. Let's see if that applies to the others I have pulled up. Um, so that is in parentheses. So to specify what's in parentheses being raised to another power or being acted on by something else, I suppose. So again, acted on by something else meant not being raised to a power, right? But having cosine acting upon whatever's on the inside of the parentheses. So inside parentheses being acted on by cosine or an exponent, something like that, that will be our u each time. So u is equal to 1 minus 3x uh, cubed, excuse me. And so the next step is to find du, the derivative of u. So 1 minus 3x cubed, 1 goes to 0. Minus 3x cubed, we bring down the 3 times negative 3 is negative 9. Leave the x and subtract 1 to get x squared. When we find du, always go ahead and tack on dx. And I'll explain why in a moment. Um, so, actually, let's explain it now. If we were taking the 3x cubed squared, 54x squared dx. There's always a dx within the integral. So, what we want to do is replace all this integral that has x's and dx's. We want to replace them with u's and du's. So, one thing I like to do that I recommend getting in the habit of is when you find du, go ahead and solve this for dx. Get dx by itself on the right side by dividing by everything else. So du divided by negative 9x squared. That'll get this dx on the right side by itself. Now we have something to plug in for u or for I guess 1 minus 3x cubed, we will plug in u. And then in place of dx, we will plug in du over negative 9x squared. And just watch and see what happens. So now we have, again, all of this is u. So we'll call this u, and it's being squared. So we'll say u squared. We'll leave the 54x squared for the time being. Then when we substitute in, for our dx, we will use this, because we know this is equal to dx. So we'll have du over negative 9x squared. Now, the idea of doing this method with the dx is that, again, we want all of this integral with x's and dx's to transform to be in terms of u's and du's, which means we can't have x terms. But fortunately, the way this works out is that x squared will cancel with x squared. And so all we're left with, let's bring these constants, 54 over negative 9, sort of out to the front. And we will have 54 over negative 9, but 54 divided by negative 9 is negative 6. And then we'll keep the u squared and the du. So it simplifies to something like this. And so this is the integral we're trying to find, and it's much easier, right? So now let's find the antiderivative. We leave the negative 6, we keep the u, but we add 1 to the exponent to get u cubed, and then divide by that same number we just found, 3. And so if we want to, we could go ahead and plug in, actually, let's go ahead and simplify this. 6 over 3 is 2, so we have negative 2 u cubed. Now if we plug in the u back in, we will have negative 2, 1 minus 3x uh, cubed. I did it again. All right. And then plus c. So the biggest thing, the biggest difference to find in this case, <coughs> excuse me, is the coefficient, the negative 2, because that will decide what our answer will be. So a lot of stuff going on here. To break it down again, Find u, it's always on the inside of something, being acted upon by something else. Find its derivative, tack on dx, 
solve for dx, get dx by itself, <clears throat> and then replace this, or maybe set up what we have here within an integral with dx on the end, and then sub in the inside for u, sub in the dx with this stuff, and then cancel out the x terms. You know, find this integral, um, or like identify the integral in terms of u's and du's, then find its antiderivative, plug in the u back in, and find our answer. All right, Let's see how fast we can do this one. I'm gonna set this up as an integral in a cheap way like this, and then we will find u, x to the fourth minus seven is on the inside, being raised to the third. Let's take its derivative, four x cubed, we tack on dx. We're gonna solve for dx by dividing du by four x cubed. And then we will <clears throat> replace the u with or we'll replace the x to the fourth minus seven with u, and then the dx with du over four x cubed. So we'll have u to the third. We'll leave the negative 20x cubed for the time being. dx, we will replace with du over four x cubed. Now, the x's, again, should always cancel out, leaving us with just terms in u and du. So now we have negative 20 over 4, or negative 5. So negative 20 divided by 4 is negative 5. Leave the u to the third du. Now we find the antiderivative, leaving the negative 5, adding 1 to the exponent, dividing by that exponent, plus c, it's at this point, we could plug the u back in, but we don't have to. We are looking for the constant, the coefficient out in front, negative 5 fourths. So we see that b is our answer. <clears throat> so we can do this relatively quickly following these steps. Let's go ahead and do one more as fast as we can here. Maybe not as fast, but all right. So we have the integral of cosine of that x, uh, 18x to the 8th. So the inside, the u, is what's inside the cosine, right? And then du is the derivative of u. So 5 goes to 0, negative x to the 9th is negative 9x to the 8th, tack on dx. <clears throat> Goodness. Excuse me. Uh, dx. If we solve for dx, we get du over 9x to the 8th, du over negative 9x to the 8th, and now we will sub in u and dx, so I'll do it down here, give us some space, we'll have cosine of u, keep the 18x to the 8th, plug in the du over negative 9x to the 8th in terms of, or in place of dx, we can cancel the x to the eighths. We are left with 18 over negative nine. That is negative a two. And then cosine of u du. So then we take the antiderivative. We have negative two, and then the antiderivative of cosine is sine. And so again, we could sub in the u back in, but negative two is really all we were looking for. So it looks like option D is our answer. I know this stuff is new and unfamiliar, so it may be confusing, and I could have even missed an important explanation. I'm not sure, just because I'm so used to it. But if you have any questions, please let me know. Hope this helps.